Hi, good morning. It's um, 11.03 and they're already pulling out the motorcycles today. <sighs> Way too loud. Well, I was asked to do a tutorial for the crisscross wrap, which I'm not too skilled at yet, but I figured, you know, why not? I went ahead and took my hair down so you guys can see exactly how I do the velvet headband and the volumizer. Just stick my hair up in a low bun at the base of my skull. See? Right there. And then I put on my velvet head. Actually, take the glasses off first. Put on the velvet headband. My son's up, and one of my son. Well, both of my sons are awake, but one of the ones, my oldest, is walking in and out of his bedroom, which is right next door to mine. So, glasses on, headbands on, grip works. Got my tickle shaper, my favorite, favorite, favorite accessory, or essential, actually. <laughs> oh, pardon the music, I'm listening to Vince Guaraldi, the Peanuts composer. I do love that. I probably better turn that down some. So just make sure you guys can hear me. Okay, now I used a couple of two-in-ones, a peach and a teal. And I used the Dandelion Joy as a sash. I didn't put that on until last. The first thing I did was I took the teal and I folded it to fit my head. Which with these, with the crisscross, it's not so much that important for me to do that because it'll all get covered anyway in the end. And you lay it at an angle. And you keep an eye on where the angle is, because where this is, that's where the crisscross is going to be. That's where the point is going to be. So I just fling one, arm, one over my arm and just tie it down. And the ends don't really matter, because I'm going to tie it in a waterfall. So I'll have one long, one short. Yeah, this one's like way long, and this is way short. But I'm going to tie it on this side. I had it hanging on this side earlier. I'm going to put it on this side now. Then I took my peach, which is the very first two-in-one I ever had, which I love. I definitely need to buy more of these. I want to get like a bright blue one. Bright blue, maybe like a bright pink too, or maybe a light pink. And I just do that on the opposite side. And you see there's the point. Let me get that. It's not one to work there. Okay, there we go. And I like to have, if I'm going to do it opposite side, of course, you're going to have one short, one long, and they'll be the opposite sides. See the long teal, long peach. They'll be opposite sides. And then I took the, the teal, not the peach, the teal, I opened it up, and I just kept it going on the same angle. See? Same angle. And then what I did here was I just kind of brought it around and tucked it underneath itself. Which it doesn't seem like it would hold very well that way, but it does. It does. It holds well enough because the peach is going to go over top of it. And then I take the peach, the same opposite side, and you can adjust it however you need to to get the point in the spot that you want it. And again, my problem is make sure you don't grab the short end there, like I just did. And then I just tuck it in itself there. And again, it's not too much of a worry because the dandelion joy is going to go over the top. So I can take the peach over this way. It's not going to be as long as the other one is. And I just tie it here. And when I tie it like that, then I pull the back string down so it looks like a nice, clean waterfall knot. Now you see, it's not as strong on the crisscross here, but the dandelion joy is going to go over the top of it anyway, so it's not like that really matters. And I took the dandelion joy and I folded it on itself several times to make a simple little sash. And I want to make sure the ends are even because I, I can't stand uneven ends on that. And then I just put it on, tied it underneath that, you don't have to tie this one. You can just wrap it around if you want, but I like to tie it because it feels much more secure for me that way. And then I just took it over the top, crossed it, brought it down, tucked one in 
one end there. And if this doesn't go all the way down, just tuck it in underneath itself or any place else it'll go. And now you just smooth out any little pieces that don't look quite right. And then I took the lovely, lovely pen. Never mind, I love this one. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And then I pinned it just wherever I felt like pinning it, which I like to wear mine just right above my ears. I don't know why, I just, I think that suits me better than putting it up really high or putting it up really low or putting it on a piece here or thing like that. I like to have it very even, not like a piece sticking out. I don't like it moving a whole lot if I can help it. But that's just personal preference. So there you go, see, it's what looks like on the side and that side, the front and the back the back there. <laughs> it's going to be a very busy day for me, so you had to excuse me. Went to vote, doctor's appointment, callbacks for Children of Eden, which I am incredibly nervous at, crossing my fingers, hoping I get a really, 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 really good role. I'm trying out for Mama Noah, so I've got to sing really well tonight. <laughs> but, um, there's the crisscross. You can see how boom, 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 boom. You can't see the peach because the sash, but that's okay. You still get this one. <laughs>